Hey guys, say hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we're gonna make Crock Pot Creamy Italian Chicken. Oh, having a whole lot of fun. And there we see Aunt Lou in her natural habitat, <laughs> doing dishes. Cleaning up after Mikey. True. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking. Chris's dishes with the good old boy and Aunt Lou. And today we're going to be making a simple dish. Lou, what is it? Crock pot creamy Italian chicken. Mm hmm. And here's the thing <laughs> this is one of them fast dishes to put together. It doesn't take a lot of time to prep and it's only going to take a little bit to cook. Now, transparency, all transparency, all honesty, and everything. You want four chicken breasts. But here's the thing our store had some chicken breasts. And they were huge. We had almost two pounds of chicken in, in two. two breasts. So, like Chuck Wurra says, we had two and two. So, all we did was we filleted them. We just split them right down the middle, turned two into four. And all we're going to do is cook them real quick. Now, this is a This will make it... Yeah, that's going to go a lot quicker. So, if you use a full chicken breast, it's going to take probably three to four hours to cook mm -hmm. this. The way we're going to do it, by filleting them like that... Probably you still two. get a lot of meat, and that's enough to serve four people. Oh, yeah. It's probably going to take around two hours, and we'll let you know when we're done. But before we do what we did to get done, do, do, do we that? need to do what we do before, what we're going to do now. And that is tell you what's in the recipe, and that's, well, chicken. Chicken, chicken. breast. Chicken. You could use thighs if you want to. I'm a thigh guy. We're going to try breast, though. The last time we had a chicken recipe on here with chicken breast, it was really good. So I'm starting to lean towards the breast more than the thighs. And Kim, I think it's your fault. <laughs> if you cook them right, <clears throat> they can be very tender and juicy. Yes. And so in cooking them in the crock pot, as long as you don't overcook them, then you can get, like, there have been times where Michael's like, oh, my goodness, this is the most tender chicken I've ever had. And because it lets everything soak in, and as long as you don't overcook it, you just get it, like, we prefer, like, right around the one. 70 mark mm -hmm. because of the texture but you know just get it right to where your sweet spot is and it's awesome and the thing is this is going to be covered in creamy liquid soupy liquid and it's going to soak down into that chicken it's oh, not going to oh, give oh, it a oh. chance to dry out so other than chicken you need cream cheese it's hard to see with a white plate i really didn't think about that, <laughs> didn't think but that one there is a brick of softened cream cheese that is supposed to be two cans of cream of chicken soup. Now, our store it's substituted. Not. They're like, we don't have the, the little cans, so we're giving you the great big cans. All we're getting is an extra ounce, ounce and a half of, of mm -hmm. cream of chicken. It's really not going to be that big of a It'll difference. be okay. Now, one thing I do want to tell you, other than the Italian dressing that also goes in this and salt and pepper, is this looks a lot like angel chicken. And we had one of our subscribers ask, hey, I don't really care or I can't do mushrooms or cream of mushroom soup mm -hmm. this is a good alternative for that in the angel chicken recipe <laughs> it calls for italian dressing uh f a flavored cream cheese which was the uh onion and, and uh, sour cream oh sour cream and chive is what it was and if you cream live in cheese. the middle of nowhere like i do you probably have to drive farther to find that or just get regular cream cheese but that recipe called for cream of mushroom a lot of people go oh I can't do that recipe, man, because if I do that recipe, I'll, I'll, I'm allergic to cream of mushroom soup, or I don't like mushrooms, or whatever the reason is. This is an alternative recipe. You can use different ingredients and get the same result. So it's going to be a lot like the it's Italian, yummy. the creamy chicken that we did the other day with the angel chicken, just a wee bit different. So what you want to do, take your softened cream cheese. Plop. Nope. Yep. Almost. <gasps> get it all, dude. Oh, you can't leave any of that behind. Scrape that out. No more, no more, no more. And then the Italian dressing goes right in there. Oh, look how pretty. And then, real simple. Here. Let me film. All I'm going to do Oops. is mix it up. Let all those flavors marry up. Again, you're making a party. You want everybody to come in and join the party. And you want this to be nice and fluffy. Like that's the like me. Just like that. And then make sure that you don't fling it all over the kitchen. Okay, you want to lick the beaters? Okay. I'll put those over here. <laughs> and now... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before you put this on, you need to sprinkle with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. So, Your 81. Breasts. Oh my. <laughs> 81. Um, of these, right? Well, only if you want to burn your face off. 
a little bit of salt on top. Do it one more time, just like that. And we'll, oh, one, Clean my two, hands off while you're doing three, that. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Just to bug you. <laughs> okay, That's salt and pepper the four. chicken, and then here. You, go, you do the honors. Love to. All you do is slather that mix on top just like that. Just get it all over the place. Preferably in the slow cooker, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, why I'm Lou's about doing to drop the me. bowl. <laughs> Again, just on your chicken. Uh, all right. That, oh my gosh, this it smells, it smells good. So good. Cream of chicken soup really smells good anyway. You got that, that chicken flavor in there, that chicken stock. Well, and then that Italian mm -hmm. seasoning. Yummy. It smells real good. I can imagine what this is going to smell like in a couple hours. Yes, it smells wonderful. So all you want to do now is smear it all over the chicken. Smear. Smear, smear, smear. And then, when you get that done, all you're going to do is take a lid and put it on top. I know. Okay, Lou, we're not painting the house here. We're just kind of getting it on the chicken. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? <gasps> like my odd numbers. Set this on low for three to four hours in our case because we took two giant breasts and cut them in half. They're a lot thinner. We're going to check this in two and see what we come up with. And then when we come back, we're going to serve this over some rotini pasta. And you're going to see just how happy we are when we eat food in front of you. In three, <laughs> two, one. And we are back. This took about two and a half hours to get done. And the chicken is well over 170. I, I clocked it at about 209. Oh fast chicken <laughs> but this is what she looks like when she's done ready I am in three two one go Ta -da. it looks pretty much like the angel chicken all you can see is the, the the chicken soup on top but that's because down below nestled down in all those juices is the chicken right there yummy yummy here I'll get us some pasta yeah so what we're gonna do is I made some rotini pasta and if you really want to bump up that chickeny flavor, chickeny, chickeny, is that like chickeny. a, that's a new adjective we're trying to make <laughs> cool right here. Uh, instead of just boiling your pasta, whether it be rotini, spaghetti, angel hair, whatever you like, boil it in chicken broth. And that's going to bump up that chicken flavor. It's like mm -hmm. Italian your, chicken soup for the soul. There's your tip for the day. Wow. Tip. It's some, it's some big words tired. again. I'm So now I'm going to do, she's got the bed of pasta. I'm going to take me a big old piece of that chicken right there. And make and sure you have lots of sauce right on the on pasta. Top. Ooh, that hit my thumb. Guess what? Oh, I bet it's, it's hot. hot. Yeah, that sauce tastes that really good on the pasta. Sauce right in there. Almost like a, like an Alfredo almost. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Alfredo with pasta al dente. We know a lot of owls around here. Nah. And I'll be honest, I'm going to like this. So, real quick, just to give that pretty shot one more time. Wait, wait, wait. That. Hurry now, up, wait. here's the test. The test is, how'd that chicken do? Whoa. Look at that fork go right through that chicken breast. Bum, bum, bum. Now, a thigh, you know that's going to happen. But for a breast to do that, no, you know it's, it's been cooked. Again. It can, it can go either way, but if you cook it slow, two and a half hours for a small, or a half breast, if you will. Uh, full breast, probably going to take you closer to three or four. I'm not going to tell you right now, pasta is good. Mm -hmm. Get some of that, that gravy pasta, I'll call it. Mm -hmm. I want some of that chicken. I want too. Let's try it out. That's all my face. <laughs> mm. It's comfort food. Mm -hmm. The pasta, if you cook it just right, it's a little chewy. It's not mushy. And then you let that sauce soak down into the pasta. Oh. And that Happy is fantastic. Up. That is a good dish. That is an easy dish. That will make your family happy. I was going to say, that would be a, inst an instant family favorite. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're still turning into it. But see, we're holding you back from making this. So stop what you're doing. Go! At the end of this video, go make this. But first. Before you do, if you like what you're seeing, give us one of these. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
And also, if you, you do don't not have become to do it like that. You can just you totally button. can. And if you send a video of it, I would share it to the world. <laughs> also, if you have not become a member of the Crop Posse, click that little subscribe button down Join below, us. and you will be a part of the Crop Pot family. Also, that little bell next to it called the tingling. Click it, and it lets us know that you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, and we'll send it right to you. And y'all, whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak off. Bye, Bye y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.